Your sons are coming. What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here. And welcome to After News Delight. So, I got a little bit carried away last week in a promo. Um, I think I actually said, are they going to put birth to sleep? Now, somebody actually said that I think it's not illegal in Chicago to do stuff like that. But I figured, I started figuring out later on, it was probably just going to be Bert being put into a facility, uh, which is what happened. So, uh, it, it was just a thing that Goodwin was feeling guilty about the prognosis of leaving him in there feeling like she betrayed Bert and you know um you know she was gonna feel guilty about it the good thing is Dr. Washington who she's dating right now kind of was the one that maybe pulled the trigger on Goodwin to finally get him into the facility because Dr. Washington wanted to help you know despite you know Bert living with her he wanted to still help you know but she was kind of shutting him out of that situation and he finally she finally you know bought him into it and you know got him into a facility you know towards the end of the episode we saw the daughter was there with her and uh and they finally put Bert in a place where he needs to be because uh he definitely it's not going to get any better and Goodwin just does realistically. Goodwin just doesn't have the time to take care of him. Like that's like that, that's the whole realistic thing right there. She just really doesn't have time to take care of him. But we know Goodwin uh, would do it if she could. But you know, Doctor Charles was telling her that last week. You know, he's going to have to go to a facility. She can't be the one to take care of him. So I'm glad that they had that resolve, man. And now, you know, Bert could, you know, can um get the proper uh help and treatment he he deserves man so i hope they give us an update on how bird is doing next year uh at least once next season but uh we'll see how that goes man and i'm glad goodwin can actually get back to a lot because when she had that little attack i don't know if it was when she fell out i don't know what they i don't know if they ever diagnosed it like what it was i don't know if it was like an anxiety or panic attack or anything like that where she fell out, uh, cause Dr. Charles has really been helping Goodwin too. That's how I love those two, man. If anything, man, if I was writing the show, I would have put Dr. Charles with Goodwin together, man. I would have, I, I, I would have put those two together as um, love interest. But um, they, they just, you know, Dr. Charles and Goodwin just had that relationship. That's that bond. They've been there since season one. It's a, it's one of the magical things about Meg right now. Those two right there. You know, and Dr. Charles really helped her through this whole entire thing with Bert. And uh, he deserves thanks. And I really feel like, you know, for, for Sharon, she don't need that extra stress, man, uh, from Bert. She really doesn't, man. She's got a man right now, and she needs to focus in on him and her job. So, glad we got a, a happy ending there, man. Because, uh, yeah, with, with the way the show ended, we didn't have a happy ending for the season, man. But we need to talk about Ripley and Hannah next, man. Go in here to get this video a like, share, subscribe, give me your thoughts in the comment section, man. Thank y'all for watching this one. After news, the like.